You have to be an, you know, an entrepreneur. Mm. And we've told young people that the only way to succeed mm. is to be an entrepreneur, mm. to, be a, to start a venture, or this and that. Mm. Mm. I think it's actually misaligned. Mm. We need to say that when mm. you have a skill, mm. you can use it for your own business, mm. or you can sell it to somebody mm. who needs it. Mm. So you're living nation. I'm living nation. You're joining small train full time. Full time. But at the same time you I are wanted to thinking... continue with the media. You remember what was going on at that point? Yeah. Revolution. Oh yeah. Revolution right. was just coming. Twenty twelve. Twenty twelve. Yeah. yeah. And I saw I said I've been in the media now for five years or so. Yeah. And I see that one of the things which is going to happen with devolution is that probably papers are going to be local. Mm. Counties who don't own their own newspaper. Mm. They don't consume their local content. Mm -hmm. So how do we provide for that? Mm. So I went, I took my life savings, mm -hmm. uh, took my pension out of nation, mm. sold my car, I just bought a Fortuna, mm -hmm. and I invested in the media. I actually started a media company in Nyeri, in my county. Hmm. Bought land, bought a printing press, employed staff, and we started a newspaper called County Media Newspaper. In Yeri? In Yeri. Called County Media Newspaper. And at that point, we formed County Media Limited. The first paper we started was Gikuyu, because we wanted to make it local. Yeah. We started a paper called Muruna. Muruna mm. in Gikuyu is like a cousin, or mm. like somebody who is very close to you, mm. like very, very tight. Mm. So this was going to be the partner mm. for the Nyeri County people, mm. the local paper. Mm. We had journalists going mm. out on the beat, mm. collecting news, mm. and I had a team. Mm. So you did the full the full registration? The Yeah, company uh, was registered, mm. imported a printing press from Miami. Mm. I bought some land to locate it. It was a huge thing, it was like eight tons. I built a press hall this size, and I started the business. That was my biggest financial loss ever. My goodness. Yes. <laughs> I poured all my life savings, my pension, sold my car, and I put into that business. For me, it was going to be, the, the workings I had done was going to be like a retirement plan. So yeah. I'm going to build this country media limited, build the newspaper, get advertising from the local businesses, because yeah. it's a local paper. Yeah. But so you had done your business plan, everything was looking like? Everything was looking hunky-dory, mm. okay? And there are huge capital investments mm. and huge people investments. Mm. But one thing mm. did not work. What went wrong? Leadership on the business. Mm. And that for me is the biggest lesson. That mm. business, vision, mm. ideas mm. are about people. Mm. Not people, mm. a person. A person. A person. Yeah? So do you feel you needed to be there? or what, what, what I, does, had, what? I had to make a choice. Mm. I needed to be there mm. or get somebody who buys my vision mm. but i couldn't be there mm. because the risk of leaving a job to go straight into this business mm. and i have a family mm. is going to be difficult so you uh, your family you're three kids in i'm three kids in mm. okay yeah now mm. this is the bit that we didn't proceed with at yeah. this point mm. remember i told you i had a family challenge yeah. at some point. There were struggles sometimes. Struggles. Yeah. Mm. So we came try to make it work. Mm. It didn't work. Okay. So we are like yeah. separated. Yeah. So at that point I said dating someone else. Okay. A doctor. All right. We dated, we mm. dated, we mm. dated. Mm. Out of that, two children. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I have five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Now I have a sixth child. And this is this is this is at that time that yeah. there is there is I'm going this through transition. all this. Exactly. Okay. All uh -huh. this transition. Mm. So now I have this family, mm. I'm building a business, mm. I need to keep work mm. because I need to take care of mm. my family, I'm educating mm. my children. Mm. Mm. And the business doesn't work, mm. but I pour money, mm. I pour money, mm. I just continue pouring money. Mm. I really spend a lot of money on that mm. business. Mm. Now this second relationship mm -hmm. I had mm. did not work. The second relationship yes, did not work? Yes, it didn't work. work. Okay? Okay. So somewhere in 2014, mm. I walked out of it, mm. okay? Mm. But we continued being friends, the mm. kids, I'm taking care of them, mm. and I became single. Mm. And went on with life. So you're single? I'm, I'm single, I'm running a media company. And there are six children. There are six children, mm. and I have uh, a job, and I have this thing I'm taking care of. Mm. So I moved on, you know, pushed forward. Oh, wow. And then I met my current partner. Mm. 
okay? Mm. I met my current partner. Mm. And we just, you know, started mm. talking and moved on and kind of connected. Mm. And then one day she told me, you know what? You need to hang your boots on Mary. Mm. You need to mm. call it out. You, mm. it's, you're losing too much money. Mm. You just need to decide what day mm. you are wrapping it up. Because it was now becoming a loss, a loss, a loss. It a was loss. a loss. I was spending, mm. and at some point, I used to spend 700,000 a month taking care of it. Where would the money come from? I would borrow. I would go to the bank because oh they still goodness. hope. They're like, no, this, if we just buy some motorbikes, you know, the, you know, if we just buy some motorbikes, we'll distribute this paper. So I'm like, okay, that sounds interesting. So let's buy five motorbikes. Then the next thing you hear, the motorbike is being bought, a border in Fika. Uh. <laughs> you know, because you don't have leadership. You don't have leadership. Uh. You don't have leadership. Oh, man. Okay? And leadership is individual. Mm. Okay? These mm. are my leadership, mm. you know, mm. uh, lessons. Yeah. And uh, Leadership is individual. It's individual. Mm. It's individual, you know? Mm. Mm. So... I couldn't find the right person mm. to oversee the business. Mm. So I was losing money, mm. some through fraud, mm. some through just ideas that have not been well thought mm. out. I do not have time mm. to see to the team because now I'm traveling across Africa. Mm. I'm in Ethiopia sorting out kids with cleft. I'm mm. in Nigeria. Mm. I'm in DR Congo. I'm mm. in Angola, you know. Mm. So I was just losing money. So I had debt. I am putting my salary into the business and all this is happening. But... I give credit to my wife now. Mm. At that point, you know, just coming, dating, mm. we are getting serious. Mm. She says, I think you need to just mm. decide when you call it out. Mm. And that is what I needed mm. to just say, yeah. A reality time. check. A reality check. Mm. One day, I mm. call a staff meeting, mm. all the staff, and I said, How many were the staff at the there time? There were now 14. Whoa. Editors, mm. you know, mm. and bought MacBooks. You know, I had like three MacBooks. Man. I had the press. I had built the offices alongside where the press was. Mm. I had, I was paying the staff. We had motorbikes. We had, I bought a car for the business. I called them and I said, this is over. Mm. Each of you has two months notice. I'll pay you for the two months in lieu of notice. Oh, These are your letters. Mm. And here's your two months. It's over. Whoa. Yeah. This is after running it for how long? This was, I started it in 2012. Mm. This now must have been 2015. Whoa. Yeah. Or at, end of 2014. At any point, was it ever... 2014 ended. Did it ever break even and then start going low? Nope. No. Nope. Ever? Ever. So it was... You'll get a check, but then your cost, you know, you get a check of this, then the costs are much higher, then you have debt, then it's not collected. You have vendors who got the paper, they never paid, but you, your, the press has broken down, you need 500,000 to repair it. Mm. You know, so it was like that. It was mm. constant struggle. Mm. Okay? Mm. So it was one of the best decisions I made to Whoa. stop the Whoa. bleeding. And I think the lesson for me, to anyone listening to this, mm. is that decision making is extremely important mm. and doesn't matter whether it's the right or the wrong decision, mm. but make a decision. Make a decision. Yeah. Because we procrastinate mm. trying to find the right decision. Mm. And in so doing, mm. you drag on mm. problems mm. that you could have actually resolved earlier. Yeah. Because maybe closing it was the wrong decision. Yeah. Maybe it would have actually, it was just waiting for a moment to, to blow up. To blow up. Yeah. But did I need to wait? Yeah. Did I not need to wait? No. Mm. The decision I made at that point was the right decision mm. to close. Because you know mm. what it did? Mm. It gave me peace of mind. Mm. It actually stopped my bleeding. Mm. It allowed me to pay my loans, mm. okay, mm. and move on. Mm. And then I was focused on other things. Mm. And probably if I didn't do that, mm. I would never have done, played the role I'm playing at Amrit mm. because maybe mm. I would have carried that baggage mm. and I've been completely mm. distracted. To probably have stifled you. Stifled me. Mm. So I dropped that. Mm. Luckily, mm. and there are people you meet in life who actually change your life. Mm. And I think, you know, my partner really... My current mm. wife, mm. Uh, Kagendo, mm. did was that person at that point. Mm. We met at the right time for that decision to be made. Mm. But when I was investing in the business in 2015, mm. when I went to look for a place to locate my printing press, mm. I wasn't looking for a place to buy. Mm -hmm. I was looking for a place to rent, mm. a, a go down, mm. 
put the printing press there mm. and start printing my paper. Mm -hmm. Before that, because mm. I'd started before I got my own press, mm. I was printing with with Star newspapers. With Star newspapers. Yes. Yeah. And they would charge me 400,000 per oh. run. Oh. So it was very expensive. Mm. So now when I went to look for a place to locate my printing press, mm. I met this old man. Mm. Again, he passed on, mm. uh, God rest his soul. Mm. It's called Karingedi. Mm -hmm. He looked at me and said, mm. he said, I'll call you. Mm. One day he called me and said, Daktari, mm. you're mm. a young man. Mm. Come. Mm. He took me to a place and said, I want you to buy this house. Mm. I'm not going to get you a place to rent. Mm. Look for money, buy this house. Mm. And put your press here. Mm. So, mm. That's how I sold my car. Because mm. I, I had no plan mm. to actually buy. Mm. My plan was to rent. Mm. So I went, mm. I sold my car, mm. and I went and bought the house. Mm. At that point, it was like 4.7 million. Mm. So the, there was a house mm. and a quarter piece of land. Mm. So I located my press to inside that place. That place. Mm. If that man had not advised me to do so, You'd have been I would have been in a lot of trouble because mm. I would have rented someone's press mm. hall. Mm. This press mm. is eight tons. Mm. The process of installing it mm. is a million shillings. Whoa. So can you imagine being told mm. you're not paying rent relocated? Why are you taking it? Okay. Mm. So after I closed the business, mm. the press stayed there. Mm. I sold it in 2018. Mm. It lived there. It just stayed mm, there mm, because it's my compa. Mm, if I hadn't made that decision mm, again, and mm, if I had not been advised by that elder person, that. Yeah. I would have been in more loss. Mm. Secondly, this mm. place I bought mm. has given me capital gains mm. because, of course, the market has increased. increased. Yeah. So by that rise, mm. it's kind of helped me to cushion mm. the losses I made mm. on the business. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So again, mm. listening, mm. keeping good company, mm. listening mm. to your gut mm. kind of thing mm. what has been important. Mm. Very, very. But that was my journey mm. with business. Mm. So I'm a field entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> Lessons have been learned. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Lost a lot of money. Yeah. But I say that you don't have to be an entrepreneur. Yeah. You know, when you're employed and you're working, yeah. you're actually selling your entrepreneurship to someone else. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. And that I think true. the focus we've given to the fact that, you know, being employed is bad. Mm. You have to be an, you know, an entrepreneur. Mm. And we've told young people that the only way to succeed mm. is to be an entrepreneur, mm. to, be a, to start a venture or this and that. Mm. Mm. I think it's actually misaligned. Mm. We need to say that when mm. you have a skill, mm. you can use it for your own business mm. or you can sell it to somebody mm. who needs it. Mm. Those two mm. should have equal value mm. and equal respect. Because mm. for mm. me... And they're both needed. They're both needed. Mm. That is my experience, mm. that business didn't work, mm. but I've been, I would say I've been fairly successful mm. In, mm. In, my, in my corporate life. Mm. Yeah. Mm. We are coming back to the next chapter of this in, in just a few minutes after mm. this. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we'll be right back.